Hello once again YouTube, welcome back to The Domain. Today, we've got Halo Hero Series 16, and a little more than that, shout out to Jerry in our previous video who scored me all these sets, but today, we're unboxing a full series of Halo Heroes 16. And I gotta say, this has been a long time coming. These came out well over a year ago, and distribution on Heroes has been pretty, pretty hit and miss, but we're here to talk about the positives today. I only just managed to score these and Jerry was amazing in sending these to me, but right now we're looking at the quality of these figures. I know it's hard if you can't get hold of these and Heroes 18 seems to be a little better distributed in my opinion, like the current prices, they're not really going to get any better. Today we're talking about these figures and which one should we open first? <laughs> There's no real choice here. It has to be the Haunted Helmet. This is the Halo Mega Fan Vote winner and I do love that it has that premium fan vote winner text on it with the concussion rifle, with a Spartan Haunted Helmet and a lot of, did I say that right? Spartan Haunted Helmet and a lot of paint apps. So it's the first time I've got a Haunted Helmet. This has also come out in Infinite Series 5 blind bags, but yeah, the first time I've ever seen this beautiful haunted helmet. Look at that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's got a lot to offer this figure and a lot of paint apps that you would, you know, expect from Halo Heroes level quality. This was the Halo Mega Fan Vote, a vote between a Flood Combat Form, a Haunted Helmet, Thrall Slayer, and searching my memory banks, what was the other one? CQB Helmet. And shout out to Justice for Thrall Slayer, you know, we, we, we've got to get Thrall Slayer one day. And I believe the helmet visor is removable. Let's take a really good macro lens look at that. Frightening. That's actually really, really well done. Flustered MCX did a great job on their version. A completely transparent visor, but the paint apps on this are amazing. This is the new Breacher chest and new helmet. It's really amazing when Mega goes out of their way to include so many new molds, like they could have literally just done the haunted helmet but they wanted to go above and beyond and the amount of paint apps on this really set it apart from the competition like look at that we've got these brown and blues on the chest some nice cream highlights on the belt as well as the shoulders and the bottom of the legs nice black and blue paint apps on the leg armor as well and it comes with a concussion rifle which oh, oh wow i actually Really didn't know it came with this many paint apps as well. Look at that. That's really exceptional. It's got this sort of uh, brownish color that runs all the way through and a very highly detailed as well. Like it's not just applied onto one section. There's like individual little marks there and this black part on the back of the weapon and a spinning drum. Of course, it's always had the spinning drum, but it's nice to see it return. And it's a classic Halo Reach weapon that, uh, yeah, it suits the Haunted Helmet very well. I saw some people didn't really like the color choice for this figure but honestly I don't see that I really do enjoy this and it comes with the Spartan haunted Spartan haunted on the base plate the the base plates for these hero series going forward they're not really like they don't feel like a premium full set it just feels like random because you've got this Spartan logo on the bottom we've also got like blue team logo and uh yeah the covenant and an odst so they're they're kind of like standalone figures which i don't hate because you can keep them together if you want but still i i do like the premium of like a full colored series as we've had before we're gonna have the skirmisher minor as our second entry also, big shout out to the packaging for this. They are doing everything they can to make these more and more sustainable packaging as they go. Look at this skirmisher. Oh, this is a nice skirmisher. We've only ever had a new articulation skirmisher once before in the Sword Base Invasion. And in a blind bag prediction video, I said we were likely to get one of these. And uh, yeah, we weren't, uh, we weren't let down there. This is a really, really nice skirmisher. Gorgeous silver and yellow markings on its chest. Really nice mix of this, like, I don't even know what kind of blue that is, uh, but it mixes in with the silver really nicely. The frill is a soft plastic, so stands out. Uh, yeah, really... Ah, oh, this is exceptional. It's even got a really nice orange rim around the peg hole. And these yellow eyes are kind of an example of how Mega can still do really nice painted eyes. They've moved away from it a lot in recent years, but this is a great example. Yeah, look, even that brown and the tongue pink, there are like half a dozen colors on this and I'm all about it. This is a really nice figure. Let's get really close with that head. Look at that, that's exceptional. Wow, tickle me impressed. Usually with the Covenant inventory in Heroes or Banished, I'm not really, 
yeah, they don't blow me away, but this one's really nice. And it's nice to see the, the Covenant logo return like this is an actual Covenant skirmisher. It's not a banished, I guess. Okay. ODST Hudson is next. Now, this is the third ODST in the Fireteam Raven series, and the fourth one is ODST Graves in Hero 17 that completes the series. There's not as much to say about these ODSTs. Um, there's not very many unique pieces. I mean, there's no unique pieces. It is just an ODST with the radio antenna. The silver on the assault rifle goes a long way. I do enjoy that. And this orange almost matches with the reflective color used on the shoulders and the legs. It's a little bit of a different orange to that kind of bronze. Hudson marking on its chest along with the UNSC. And gosh, I love this new macro lens, let me tell you. This is making my life a joy. This Kelly, we had Fred in the chopper takedown, but we never got a Fred hero. But we got Linda and Kelly in their Shadows of Reach appearance, so it was a bit weird we never got Fred in a Halo hero as of late. And it kind of seems like we're not getting it now because uh, it's been two more series and there's no Fred. But this is a really nice Kelly. Comes with the 087 on her chest, which the Linda doesn't. So maybe I'm getting a bit confused. There's a difference between Blue Team and Shadows of Reach and uh, the, the normal games now. So um, yeah, correct me. If you know all the lore, I'll pin it. If you comment down below with which of these Blue Team members appeared and what they're based on, basically. But there's a lot of paint apps here. A lot more than we've seen in previous Kellys. There's a lot of red highlights around her armor and those legs and shoulder. Yellow stripes go a long way. That 087 is excellent. Her visor's missing a bit of gold, which is a shame, but it's not the end of the world. This is still a really exceptional Kelly. I'm very impressed with this. And that blue team logo is excellent. Yeah, we just we just need Fred. Like, where's our Fred? The final of the heroes. And yeah, um, I've always said I am disappointed that heroes went down to five figures instead of six. I know it was like, you know, a, a, a higher up decision that we don't really understand. This is the HCS Winter Launch skin. It's really nice. Uh, it's, it's cool that Mega, like, they clearly enjoy making their Mark 7s from, uh, you know, in-game Halo Infinite skins. There should never really be any Mark 7s or Halo Infinite figures that are made that are not based on actual skins in-game because there's so many to go on. Look at the amount of red and blues on this. It's really fun. That black highlight on the shoulders goes a long way. Even, it's, it's very rare we get painted gloves. Very rare. And this is half white, half black, and that red piece on top, which must be totally accurate to the HCS uh, coating, I would imagine. The battle rifle, just some little red and blue highlights to give it that uh, that matching touch. And the silver visor as well, really cool. This is just a great figure. Like, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not crazy about the uh, the Mark 7s. They, they're, just, they're just nice. They're just nice fillers. Really interesting uh, undertone on the legs there. Doesn't match the rest of the armor, that's obviously intentional, but matches the visor. So this is really fun. And yeah, we got the peppermint coating in the new Series 18. Cool. This is a really, really nice series, guys. I know uh, maybe some of you weren't able to get hold of this, but I'm really hoping most of you were. Either way, we're here to appreciate the series and not the uh, the lack of availability of the series, right? Because we are here to celebrate what makes this series great, and there is a lot that makes this great. This is pretty unrivaled paint applications across the board. Every one of these has a serious attention to detail when it comes to paint. The Spartan Haunted Helmet, great to see that as a mega fan boat winner, and I hope we get it in a lot more sets soon. Got a great concussion rifle. The battle rifle and the assault rifle and the shotgun are just basic weapons, but the concussion rifle and the needle rifle stand out. In fact, these two figures really do stand out to me. The Skirmisher is my favorite by far of this series. That is absolutely exceptional. Exceptional detail on that head mold. Absolutely wild. So this is a, a bang out, you know, a 9 or 10 out of 10 for me. This is a really good series. Let me know what you want to see next in terms of reviews. I'm going to unbox the Decisive Engagement and Bizarre Battleground soon. But in general, just really enjoy making this kind of content on the channel and I hope you are too. It's like the sudden return of me doing reviews and I'm all about it and I'm enjoying this double camera approach. So as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Thanks as always for your support, and the domain is signing off. Sure.